Leighton, honestly, I think some people think that every time that Leighton Flowers does the, well, you know, I've been determined to not understand these things, that he's just trying to be funny. No, that is how he thinks. That is. It's not. It's not how I think. It's what you believe. And, and, and prove me wrong, Doctor White. Prove me wrong. Come on the program and say I do not believe that Leighton was determined to believe what he believes. Come out and just say that, because otherwise you're not mocking me. You're mocking the true claim of your system. Now, lest you just think that I'm misrepresenting Calvinist. Remember, James White touted the book by Bignon, the French philosopher. He touted his book as a defense of determinism, right? You've heard him on his program. You've seen it all over social media, this French philosopher, Bignon, being touted as one of the leading scholars in defense of this concept of theistic determinism. And, and let's just, instead of believing me, listen to what one of their leading scholars says with regard to what Leighton has been determined to believe and think. Okay, listen. Exhaustively describe reality. Okay. So determinism isn't the thesis that some things are determined, it's the view that all things are determined. And we'll get, we'll get back to that because that matters in some of the formulation of the arguments. Okay, well this, this raises a question then. So did God causally determine Calvinists like Kolkel, Krith, Muller, etc. to disagree with you? <laughs> uh, the answer is yes. All things are determined. So yes, yeah, okay. So the Calvinists that disagree with theistic determinism, in other words, there are some Calvinists who believe in libertarian free will, like Crisp and others, inconsistently, but they do. Um, they they deny theistic determinism, and they disagree with the higher Calvinists who do believe in theistic determinism. And he asked them, "Did God determine them to do that?" And he says, "Yes, that's exactly what happens." All right. Determine that. Uh... <laughs> okay. Okay, and it also raises another question. Uh, Leighton, you and 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 uh, yeah. I both used to be Calvinists. They say right. Uh, they claim to be Calvinists. Back yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And I again, I can take that as their word. I didn't know them. I don't have any reason to doubt that they were sincere Calvinists in the past. But yes, to answer that question again, he's asking. Well, that raises a big question of conundrum somehow for the Calvinist. Okay. Uh, you know, did God determine us to leave Calvinism? And yes, uh, I take them at their word. I say, yes, God determined that too. Uh, determinism means all is determined. Uh, so just get this out of the way. Uh, determinism means that everything is determined. So it makes no sense to ask, well, did God determine that? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. The, answer, the answer is yes. Okay, so not from me. That's from the leading scholar of the Calvinistic, uh, of Calvinistic system. God is determined for Leighton Flowers to leave determinism and to believe what I believe. So he's laughing at and mocking what he himself believes and his leading scholars teach and believe. The namesake for their own systematic even believes these things. Um, let me pull it up on the screen if uh, we have time to do this real quick. I, I know many of you have seen these things. It's, there's nothing new here under the sun from what we've done, but I, I just have to point these things out because new people are tuning in every time we have a program, especially when we're answering someone like James White. Creatures are so governed, according to John Calvin, by the secret counsel of God that nothing happens but what he has knowingly and willingly decreed. In other words, God decreed Leighton's view against determinism, period. That's just a truism of their view. He's mocking it. He's mocking me saying something that's true about his system. Just keep that in mind. John Calvin, quote, We hold that God is the disposer and ruler of all things, that from the remotest eternity, according to his own wisdom, he decreed what he was to do and now by his power execute what he decreed. Hence, we maintain that by his providence, not heaven and earth and inanimate creatures only, but also the counsels and wills of men are so governed as to move exactly in the course which he has destined. In other words, he has destined the will of men, the will to do good or to do evil, to molest, to rape, to do all those things. That is in accordance with his divine will. Thieves, murderers, rapists, molesters, everything. According to John Calvin, quote, other evildoers are instruments of divine providence being employed by the Lord himself to execute judgments which he has resolved to inflict. Now, again, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe, maybe this is not the James White kind of Calvinism. Maybe, maybe James White has softened 
John Calvin's Calvinism. Or Bignon, maybe he's overstating his case. Maybe, maybe God doesn't really decree and determine from molesters to molester, rapist to rape on James White's form of Calvinism. Well, let's see. When a child is raped, is God responsible and did he decree that rape? If he didn't, then that rape is a, a, an element of meaningless evil that has no purpose. What I'm trying to point out by going to Scripture... So what is your answer there? Because I, I want to understand the answer to I'm, that question. I'm trying to go to Scripture to answer it. Yes, but the what reason, is the answer to the question that the, he just asked the, so that we can understand what the answer is? I, I, I mentioned to him, yes, because if not, then it's meaningless and purposeless. And though God knew it was going to happen, he created without a purpose. And that I've, means God brought the evil into existence, no, it was going to exist, but for no purpose, no redemption, nothing positive, nothing good. So he did I decree say, it, and if he decreed it, then there's then a meaning he, to it. It has meaning, it has purpose. Got it. Suffering, all suffering has purpose. Everything in this world has purpose. There is no basis for despair. But if we believe that God created, knowing all this was going to happen, but with no decree, he just created and all this evil's out there and there's no purpose, then every rape, every situation like that is nothing but purposeless evil and God is responsible for the creation of despair. And I, 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 that is not, not, as, I've that been is not what I believe. For years I've been trying to figure out why it is that in order for rape to exist, um, or unless God caused it to happen, there can't be any purpose in it. God can use evil, and he does. But to blame God, which is what a decree does, to blame God for the rape of a child is a horrible um, attack on the very character and How the about? love of God. Okay, so you heard it for yourself. James White and Calvinism, qua Calvinism, according to the namesake and the leading proponents, believe God determines all desires of evil, all moral evil, all heinous evil. That is the claim of their system, period. So when somebody asks me, Leighton, why did you determine this? And I say, if Calvinism is true, the reason I determine this is because God determined for me to, and you laugh at it, and you mock it, then what are you mocking except the claim of your own system? You're, you're ultimately calling determinism a joke. That's what you're doing, whether you recognize you're doing it or not. You're mocking your own view. This is why I often say sometimes some arguments don't need to be refuted. They just need to be clearly stated because intuitively we know they're funny. We know they're, they're jokes. They're silly. They're untenable. They're, that's the reason I keep stating them. I keep stating what, what you find to be so detestable and so weird and, oh, my goodness, that's so good. Ah. Why do I state it? Because it's the claim of your system, and it's revealing it how and asinine it is. And whenever I state it and you laugh at it instead of doing what Bignong did, which is, oh, well, yeah, that's true. Let's just move past that now because, it, yeah, that's true. Why, why, why don't all Calvinists just respond the way Bignong did and just say, yes, it's true. You rejected Calvinism and you started the podcast because God determined for you to. Okay? And then we can talk about why you think God might do that. And you can also talk about why you think I'm still blameworthy for my actions in doing this when God determined for me to do it. And we can talk about that. And I think that would be a reasonable discussion then versus what I think we see uh, James White doing here, mocking his own system.